on guys, it is actually here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I am going to be giving my review on yesterday's game between QPR and Wolves at Loftus Road, which ended in a 2-1 win to QPR. <sighs> fair play to them, fair play to QPR. Uh, they did well to get that result um, against a uh, Wolves side that were on a roll. Um, uh, yesterday was our third loss in like 14 games. Third loss in 14 games. Um, so, fair, fair play to them. Fair play to them. Um, the, they got they got the ball rolling with with uh, the first goal of the game. Um, a few minutes before half time, 41st minute, Connor Washington. I saw it on on the uh, goal show last night uh, on the uh, Channel Five Football League goal show, and it was just poor, poor defending really. Uh, Colin Washington came forward to QPR for QPR, and and uh, he just shook up, shook up our defence, and our defence was in no man's land. And that just just get gave uh gave gave him a free ticket uh to give QPR a one 0 lead, but a couple of minutes later Leo Bonatini equalised uh to make it one one in the forty third minute. Lovely lovely work uh from Diego Jota uh all the way to the byline uh. Gets it, pulls it back to Bonatini to square it up at one one a couple of minutes before half time, and Bonatini in the second half, Bonatini uh, had a chance uh, from like six yards out. He headed over, over the bar from six yards out, and uh, we had the chances, we had the chances, but we just, we just didn't take them. We just didn't take the chances. And uh, and sooner or later it it will come back to bite us, and it did nine minutes from time. Um, lovely work from QPR, uh, crossing the ball in, and then Matt Smith rising the highs uh, and heading home past John Ruddy to give QPR uh, the lead again. And that is how the game finished a two one loss. Um, hopefully we can bounce back. I am optimistic for the game on Tuesday away at Norwich. Hopefully, we can bounce back in that game. We need to. Uh, we need to bounce back in that game. Uh, we we've been on a, a little bit of a bad patch. Uh, um, in this past week, obviously losing to Man City on penalties at the Etihad, very very unlucky there. And then yesterday, two one lost to QPR when. Well, we really should have been winning that game, really. Uh, top of the table before Friday night, um, where Sheffield United took top spot. Um, we really should have been uh, taking back uh, our top spot there against QPR, but it's just one of them days, and hopefully we can get a result that we are so desperately need after a tough, tough week. Uh, losing out to Manchester City and yesterday to QPR at Loftus Road. Hopefully we can get back uh, on top and get back on form, uh, which we need to if we're going to stay in or around the top three, which we have, have been doing uh, for the majority of the season so far. We're only like 14 games in, so so there's plenty of time to get get through uh, to try and sustain our place at the top of the table uh, because uh, we, we've been doing very very well uh, in in these 14 games we've had so far this season a couple of them have just been a little bit blitz where we've had we've had a bad day at the office really um, but apart from that apart from the three office, uh, losses but they haven't necessarily been bad performances. The, the the three losses so far this season, uh, they've just been just been a 
a general bad day at the office, really, I think. But, uh, yeah. 2 1 lost to QPR yesterday. Hopefully, we can bounce back at Canterbury Road on Tuesday night. It is going to be a tough game, but Norwich lost yesterday as well, uh, which is um, which is good for us because it, it gives us uh, a chance to capitalise on that and uh, and hopefully take three points away um, from East Anglia back up to Molyneux. And I'm optimistic for that game. Hopefully we can get back on form uh, like we were um, uh, the Preston game and and Preston game and wait uh, and and uh, before. But um, yeah, that's that's been my review of uh, of of uh, yesterday's game between QPR and Wolves that ended two one to QPR. If you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button and I shall see you uh, tomorrow with an episode of The Weekday Files uh, as it returns after, after, its, um, after its week break, as it's been the half-term uh, holidays this past week. Uh, but now the half-term holidays is over, The Weekday Files will be coming back to, uh, tomorrow night. Uh, there won't be any on Wednesday uh, as of. Uh, as the Tuesday night game is going on, but uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with the return of the weekday files. Until then, goodbye, guys. <laughs>